Liz and Ruffy, that veteran CPD officer assigned to the 12th district is in serious but stable condition tonight. Officials say he's awake and alert and lucky to be alive. The response to the shooting was swift and fierce. Officers with heavy weapons and tactical gear scouring the near west side for the shooter who seriously wounded one of their own. I was just so happy, just looked out my window and I seen uh, the cops, I seen the canine dogs and everything of that nature. It began, police say, with officers responding to a call of a domestic incident around 8.30 a.m. at an apartment building in the 1300 block of West Taylor Street. As they stepped off an elevator, gunfire. They were ambushed. This, this wasn't a matter of uh, police tactics. Uh, they were ambushed, clearly. Offender had intentions to harm them. Unit, zone three. The officer, a 15 year department veteran, was shot multiple times, police say, in the torso and arm, and was driven in serious condition to Stroger Hospital by a UIC cop who had also responded to the building. This was a straight up execution attempt. This officer did not unholster his weapon, he had no time to react. That massive police response <laughs> leading to a man being arrested a few blocks from the shooting. Police say they recovered a handgun and took the suspect to Mount Sinai Hospital for wrist injuries. Charges are pending, but we have the offender in custody uh, who we believe uh, wounded our officer with gunfire. Officials say this is the sixth CPD officer to be hit by gunfire this year and the third in just the past month. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.